Successful SOA implementations recognize two distinct types of services. Transaction services that execute business logic, often creating new data in the process, and data services that execute requests for data or run queries on data. Transaction services need an infrastructure like an application server. The application server includes features like enforcing J2EE standards, session management, memory and thread management, allowing for concurrency and security. Data services, composite specialty, belong in an information server, which provides on-demand data integration. Here, you enforce data access standards, handle dynamic data federation, and optimize data retrieval performance, data transformations, data caching, and security. An information server works seamlessly with other SOA components, such as an enterprise service bus, which provides a messaging and communication system for data and transaction services, or business process management tools that combine various data and transaction services into sophisticated workflows. For example, here's an e-commerce process. The information server receives an available-to-promise request. Data services deliver availability and price quotation. Data services also provide credit information and inventory verification. Pick, pack, and shipping are all transaction services. Checking order status, probably the most common service in the e-commerce process, is also a data service. In the federal government, where net centricity and information sharing are top priorities, Data services receive data from distributed systems and may leverage an enterprise service bus to deliver the information to various government departments and agencies. The Composite Information Server provides easy-to-set-up, easy-to-use, standards-based information servers for creating and storing such data services. Here's where to learn more about how they work and what they can do for you. <laughs>